Hi friends, Crystal here from Homemaking on the Homestead and today I'm going to be sharing with you another grocery haul, grocery shopping trip. It had been about two weeks since we had actually even been into town. We tend to just kind of hibernate here in our little homestead and we've always got projects, both my husband and I, to work on and pretty soon I was like, we need some food, so it was time to go get some groceries. I went to, uh, or actually we went because we went into town together and my husband actually likes grocery shopping so I don't argue. <laughs> and uh, uh, so we went to both Winco and Costco and I'm going to show you what we got. I tried to include most of the prices of the things that I got and I would be curious once again to know how my prices are comparing to your prices and where you live. I am in Washington State. So I'm up in the Pacific Northwest, and uh, so you can kind of see what the prices are in my part of the world. Anyway, let me show you our little trip into town and what I got today. It was really fun. We got to see the first snow up on the hills as we left and headed on into town. It takes us about 45 minutes or to an hour to get into town, and uh, it was kind of a, cra a cloudy, overcast day to on this day. But we headed off to our first stop, which was Winco. The first thing that hit me as I walked in the door were cake mixes for 48 cents each. That is an amazing price. I, I mean, I always feel like a dollar twenty or something is a good deal. <laughs> but that was good. So I, I grabbed one. Maybe I should have grabbed more. Anyway, these are some of the other items that I bought. And so it's going to kind of run through those fairly quick. And uh, you can see a few of the different prices. Uh, usually we hit produce first, but those are the things that attract you when you walk in the door. I needed some cranberries. I had used all mine up for the spiced cranberries, cranberries over Thanksgiving. And I've got cranberry strawberry jam here to make pretty soon. Roma tomatoes seem like they finally came back down in price. They'd gone up as high as $2 a pound at one point. So I felt like 98 cents, that was a pretty good deal. All kinds of onions to pick from, but this seemed like the best deal. Three pound bag of small onions for a 98 cents. Not a bad price. I bought a five pound bag of yellow potatoes. Russet potatoes are usually less expensive, but I prefer those. Uh, we got our normal bag of oranges and some bananas. I can't believe how cucumbers are continuing to stay at a fairly low price for this time of year. They usually get fairly expensive come winter time. And I bought a bag of carrots. and some red cabbage. I already had green cabbage still in the refrigerator, so I didn't need any of that. Then I moved on to the bulk section and got some chopped pecans and some raisins. I'm gonna be making some granola and I wanted to have them for that. So I just got a little bit, that's why I like bulk. Now I didn't get any beef this time. I didn't get any meat actually because I didn't really need it, but uh, I just thought I'd share these prices with you so you can kind of compare what it looks like compared to your prices. And these are pork prices, which are actually fairly reasonable right now. Um, I remember a time, doesn't seem like that long ago, I got pork riblets for just a little over a dollar a pound. And the lean 73% ground beef was $2.68 a pound. I wanted to grab some french fries for the freezer. I had used up a bag, so I was just kind of replacing what I my stock. Cream cheese, the Winco store brand was $0.98 cents each. some more dairy, 24 ounces of sour cream, and a gallon of milk. I found it interesting that the price of whole milk and 2% milk were exactly the same. Some eggs or chickens are in their low laying season, so I make sure my daughter gets the eggs. 
a loaf of bread, some snacks for my husband. I swear this trip was more about his snacks than it, than it was other food, but he couldn't pass up 38 cents a piece on the little pies and he really likes those. And then it was time to go check out. Winco is a bag your own groceries, which is one reason why the prices can tend to be so low. They are the lowest prices in our area. So you do have to bag your own groceries, bring your own bags unless you wanna pay uh, for their bags. After everything was all bagged up, it was time to go and put it in the car. Uh, once again, I explained last time, we always bring an ice chest because we do live so far away we want, and we still had another store to go to. We want to make sure our cold and frozen food stays cold and stays frozen. That wrapped up Winco and then it was time to head on down the road to Costco. More snacks from my husband. He saw those on sale, couldn't resist. I was busy getting the stuff we needed for, you know, real food. <laughs> so, nice big bag of uh, mixed vegetables. I was almost out of half and half, so I grabbed one of those. And more snacks. Dip. This is actually a really, really good dip. So if you have a Costco new, near you, I really recommend the artichoke and jalapeno dip. It is very good. And I thought I'd show you some prices of chicken. This is sold in six individual portions and you usually get around eight pounds in total. And that's the price for the thighs and then the breasts. They sell uh, usually a two pack of chicken. Nowadays, it seems like it's just a one pack. I also picked up some of these barbecued ribs so that we could have a nice quick dinner when we got home and grab some mushrooms. This dill salad kit has been one of my favorites and there, you get two of them and we go through one uh, in a meal and it's really tasty. It's a dill pickle. Most of the time, obviously, I make salad, and so that's why I'm grabbing the lettuce as well. Their fresh Brussels sprouts have been really good, and I've bought them a couple times now, and we've enjoyed those. Costco makes some delicious French bread, so I'm usually tempted, and I was today because it was still soft and fairly warm, so I grabbed one of those and their baguettes were on sale and so I grabbed a package of those as well. And then it was time to check out. I got the coffee too. Some of these things I forgot to show as I was filming. Have a nice day. Have a nice day too. Thank you. But then it was time to pack it all up. and head on back up into the mountains. It was, uh, even though it was a cloudy day, it was just really uh, very pretty just to see the river. Now that we don't have as many leaves on the trees, you can see more. And before we do it, we were home and unloading the groceries. And now I'll show you an overview of all the things that I got. That was our dinner for two nights and it made for a quick, easy dinner. Kind of like going out to dinner, although we don't go out to dinner anymore as much. So uh, we do a little bit, but that way we've got kind of a nice, easy, quick dinner. Got some of the English muffins. I use those for breakfast sandwiches. Uh, the decaf coffee, my husband likes to have half regular, half decaf because he drinks a lot of coffee during the day and it doesn't effect the caffeine doesn't affect him as much yeah that bag of vegetables was five and a half pounds so and the two salad kits the snacks a 
I was almost out of ranch dressing, so of course I grabbed some of that as well. And my total for Costco actually equaled $113 even. And this is what I got my Winko groceries. I had the apples, they were, well, obviously they were in the car, but I guess the bag broke because my husband was pulling them out of the car. And so he just put them in the basket that I have all of our fruit stored in. So I didn't bother pulling those out. But there is my Winko deals, more snacks, my five pound bag of potatoes. I ended up getting two containers of sour cream, my french fries, which was a two pound bag, my two eight ounce packages of cream cheese, and the two dozen eggs. And that was what Winco's grocery haul looked like. And that came to $63.21. Well, there you have it. Now you know what we got and what those prices were and totals and all that good stuff. Uh, I would be, um, uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, I'd be curious to know what grocery prices are looking like in your area and how do they compare to mine. All right, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me to know that you like grocery hauls. I've, I've kind of wondered and then I've gotten some response from some of you that have said that, yes, you enjoy the grocery hauls. I don't mind doing them. I don't do every time I go to the grocery store, but... Um, I'm thinking, you know, at least once a month it would be good to throw a grocery haul in, into my video lineup. Uh, so yeah, so give it a like if it's something that you liked. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you like my content, would you consider subscribing? I would really appreciate that. Alright you guys, I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.